Monmouth was at all familiar with the teaching documents of Pope John Paul II, will know that he likes to take a particular gospel passage as the framework for his teaching. And the passage we've just heard is the one that he uses in his very important document on the new millennium, Nova Millennia Unity. And he uses it precisely to illustrate two different approaches to our Christian life and to work in the church. One based on what St. Paul in the first reading calls a very human wisdom or way of thinking, the way we normally do things. We see a problem, we get together a committee, work out a plan, and maybe probably at the end we might well ask God to bless it. Very decent of us. But but John Paul points out that this story tells us there is a completely different way in which we are called to work in the church. That is, to listen for, to wait for, to be alert to the word of Christ, telling us how to work in a way that probably seems completely stupid. I imagine Simon Peter rather thinking to himself, Jesus told him to put the nets out. Well, Lord, you're a very good carpenter. You've made wonderful chairs and tables, and your teaching is superb, but you don't actually know anything about fishing. Well, of course, he never actually said that, and he may not have thought about it. I hope you'll forgive me if I'm being irreverent. But nevertheless, he overcomes this hesitation and obeys Jesus in faith, and we have this extraordinary result. It leads him to a kind of crisis, he wants, to, he wants Jesus to leave him because he realizes the great gulf between him. And so Jesus then raises him up to a completely new way of life and ministry. Isn't this really a perfect picture of what should happen to us in every Mass? We should come to the Mass waiting, longing, thirsting to hear God speak to us. What are you going to say to me today, Lord, in this Mass? And he speaks to us in his word. And then before Holy Communion, we say those words of the centurion, which are so similar to the words Peter utters here. Leave me, Lord, I am a sinful man. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. It's a genuine experience of our unworthiness, not a pious utterance. And then Jesus comes to us gives us himself totally in Holy Communion and says to us, now, go out and do something you could never possibly have imagined yourself doing. Go and catch a 